We've just released a new Drive landing page set and this one is for a local shop. Now we didn't just release one new page, we released three variations of the same page and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can go from one variation to the other one so that you can see how customizable this template is and how you can adapt it for your own business. Hi, I'm Hannah from Thrive Teams and let's have a look at those new landing pages. The first variation is for a local food shop and this wouldn't be one of our landing pages if we didn't add a conversion focused element. So when you click on the button, you can get the opt-in form. And there's also an exit intent opt-in form. Now the second variation of this page is for a jewelry shop. And last but not least, the third variation is for a beauty salon. As you can see, all of these variations look very different, but they are actually the same template. And I'm going to show you now how you can go from the green food related template to the jewelry related template. And you will see everything that you need to change in order to customize this landing page for your own business. Let's dive right in. Now here I opened the food shop landing page template and let's start customizing this right now. The very first thing that you want to do is change your fonts. So from here in the page settings, you can go to landing page settings and then to edit page texts. What we want to do here is change the colors of these texts. So this green color is going to become our Lila. Now we already changed all the colors of the headings and the text paragraphs on this page. The next thing we'll want to do is change the colors and the pictures to make sure that it fits the new look and feel of our jewelry shop. So the very first thing to change would be the logo. So let's just click on it and then here change the image. Next, we want to change this green background section. So we can click on this section and then you can see that this is a column section and that it has an image and then a linear gradient. So first we can click on the image and then change this one. And next we can change this linear gradient. So we'll go for this lilac gradient. The next element to change is this image. So when we click on it, you can see that this is a content box and the image is actually the background image in this content box. So in background style, you can find the image and again, click on it to change it. And from here we can pick our diamond, apply this, and we want this text to be our lilac color too. And our button has to be black. So we can change the button color to this dark color. And don't forget to change the hover state because we still have the orange hover state. So from here, when you have the button, go into the state default, go to hover and let's change this color too. And then we can exit the state. So now we already have our first section to be completely customized. Now the next section, the first thing we want to change is this background color. So let's click on the background section, go to our background style and pick this light gray. And 
Now our font has to be Lila. And here we have content boxes with icon elements in it. So you can change the icons from within Thrive Architect and you can change the gradient on these content boxes. So let's click on the content box and go to the background. And here you can see there's a linear gradient. So we will change it from this light lilac to this color and apply. And now we can do this for all three of the content boxes that form the background of the icons. In order to change the icon itself, you can click on this element. And then when you see here, this is the page lines. And you can simply select one of the other elements that fits your business better. Now for this next section, we want to change this orange gradient, of course, the image and this list element. So let's click on our content box, go to the background style and change our gradients. Click on the image and then go into change image. And here in the list element, you can see that we are working on the grouped icons. So this means that if we change something, it will change all of the icons of the list. And that's exactly what we want. So we can click on this icon color and pick this nice gray. And now this section is done too. Now this background image is not really suited for our jewelry. So let's change that again, background section, background style, and then here we can not use the image and simply use a solid color. So select our gray. Now, in order to customize the rest of this section, we simply have to change our vegetable image for jewelry images. And to do so, we click on the content box. And here again, this is not a normal image. This is actually a background in the content box. So we can go to the background style and change this image. Let me quickly do that for the other images too. Now we're at this very interesting section for a local shop because here you will be able to talk about a promotion that's going on in your shop so that you can attract people from the internet to actually visit you. Now, of course, we don't want this to be green. So let's go to our background section. And in this case, we're actually going to add a gradient so we can use this gradient. And on this content box, we want to add a pattern. So instead of a solid color, we're going to add this dotted pattern, make it a white and apply this. And now here, this is something that you can 100% customize. So it's not an image. You can simply change the text on it. So let's also change the gradient. Now, of course, we're going to change our image. So again, as you can see, this is a content box. So let's go into our image here. And we want this button to match the design. So we're going to make this the dark button like we have on the first one. Again, let's not forget the hover state. Now we're almost there. We're at this customer testimonial section. So let's click on it and change the image to something more appropriate. Now this background image is a bit too much for this section. So we can actually add an effect on this image and we can reduce the opacity of this background section quite a bit. So let's put this to like 10% apply. And now this looks much better. Now we have to change the color of these quotes for the testimonials.
Now here we simply want to change the image, the color border around this image and then these little divider lines. So let's start by changing the image. Here you can find the image. Now this border has to be some kind of lilac too. And then we can change these divider colors too. So here, as you can see, this would be our color. And we're already at the bottom of the page in this footer element. So we can change this image. We're also adding a little effect on this one, a little less opaque. And let's change our logo here too. Now that's it. That's how we went in a few minutes from a food related page to a jewelry related place with a completely new color scheme. And as you can see, we didn't change all that much. We just changed the colors and the pictures and this makes a completely different landing page. Now there's one thing that we should not forget about and that is our light box. Because as you can see on these buttons, there's actually a light box attached. So here on click, you can see that there will open a light box. Now, when I edit this, you can edit the light box from here. Now, when you click on the edit light box link, this will open another tab in your browser and you will be able to edit the light box. This is also where you will connect your light box with your email service. So don't forget about it. So first of all, we can select our thrive light box and change the image here. Let's also change this divider color. And our button element. So because this is a lead generation form, you will have to click on the edit form elements and then click on your button. And now you're able to change the text, of course, but also change your color. And here, the same thing applies as for a button. Let's go to our hover state and make sure that we don't forget to change this orange to our other color. You can exit the stage and then save and close. So now this light box looks exactly the way we want it. As I said, when you click on this form, you will be able to connect it to your service. And it's also once you connect to your service that you will be able to, for example, not ask for a first name and only ask for the email address. Now, I told you in the beginning that we also have an exit intent light box. So let me just show you where you would edit that one if maybe you don't want an exit intent light box or if you want to add another one then on this button, for example. So the way to do this is to go to your page setup and then in settings. And here you can see setup page events. So as you can see here, we have an exit intent event. And what happens is that you open a Thrive light box. So when you edit this, you can see which light box is opened. So on exit intent, you can see that we have, well, it's still called healthy food shop, but we just uh, personalized it. So we can save this. And this is how you would delete the exit intent light box or how you would attach an other form if you wanted an other form. Now let's preview our page. As you can see, we have our new colors, our new pictures, everything looks smashing with this new design and it only took us a few minutes. So this is how you can use a template and take advantage of everything that our designers already did. So the nice shape of these images, for example, the shadow effects and so on, and quickly customize it to fit your brand and your local shop. Now, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate and leave them in the comments below.